annotation is just so important. I feel like it's the number one skill that we can teach our students. And it's the skill that's going to help them in all of their classes. So I feel like in the past when we were um, pre-pandemic and face-to-face, -face, I would, you know, always come by my students when we'd reading a book and like check their annotations. And we'd spend a lot of time working on annotation and how important it is and checking it. And um, I feel like one of the cool things about Hypothesis is that it kind of does a lot of the work for you, you know? So it's in Canvas, so I can just look through it and then just kind of grade it from there. Um, but to your question in regards to like how it helps build relationships, so often, you know, as I was talking about earlier, like just my um, pedagogical stance around just racial justice and equity. So I am, you know, 90% of all the readings that I use are by people of color and the, and the, the context, right? The issues are so important to our students. And so when they're reading and annotating, they're reading about things that, you know, impact their lives and that are really important to them. And so often, you know, I might ask them to, um, you know, identify, you know, three golden lines from a poem or something like that, right? Like three lines that stand out to you and they get to highlight and then also to respond to two other people, right? So that's one of the ways that, you know, the relationship building happens. And then when we're in class, you know, we'll pull those golden lines and um, especially on Zoom, we might put them on a Padlet and people can comment or they might go into a breakout room and share their golden lines from the hypothesis activity and, and come up with one that they think is the most powerful. So they're having these opportunities to talk to each other about these lines um, from the literature that really speak to them and how it connects to their own lives. And um, I think that naturally you know, builds relationship and community because they're so great at when we have that larger discussion, you know, they'll say, oh, well, so-and-so, yeah, well, you say what you said in the room about that because that was really cool or, oh, I really liked what uh, Marissa said. Marissa, you know, can you speak to this? And so it really helps um, build that community and have them see each other as scholars because that's also a really big um a really big piece of my class is I want them to identify as scholars, right? As readers, writers, and thinkers. And so when they're in there with hypothesis, pulling out these golden lines, talking to each other and recognizing each other as scholars, um, I think it really helps them strengthen their relationships and build our community of learners together. <laughs>